They say Jesus is God. I said, I that's am God. I said, I 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 Yes, I am God. I am God. I am Yes. I am God in it. Yeah, why what are you, makes why are you Jesus God? a God? So, I am no, God. So is that, is my that your answer? My question was to you, yes. what makes you to believe that you are God? I am God in it. So, so now you said you are what God, makes, I am asking you the yeah, reason What makes for. Jesus God? So How is first God? you answer my question and then I will respond to your question. No, you question. tell me. Brother, we, we advise our, our scholars, Abdullah, yes. and yes. Advise us to keep away from this hate. Even Christians are free from them. So your scholars know. tell now, you to keep away from the CCI. Is, is that what your scholars tell you, Zach? So last week, last week you were fine, Zach. Yeah, I saw two weeks ago you were saying, you're like, hi, Daniel. Can we ask you a question? Just, don't just be, yeah. don't be childish. I'm not childish. You just, I'm talking to my Muslim brother. Hand yeah, exactly. Let's ask you a question. And you just came out of nowhere. I don't know why you're coming here. So we're going to ask you. We want to ask you a question, Zach. About Islam. You can turn the camera off because I don't want to be on the camera. So. You're always on camera every week. So there's no difference. I'm not here every week. So I'm a teacher. I've got other things to do in my life. Okay. Now that you are here, Zach, can we ask you a question, please? What's your question? Is it, is it only going to be on sincerity? Are you going to be sincere? We're going to ask you about Islam. What okay. is the purpose? I want to ask you. Can we ask you a question? I want to ask you if number one, if you're sincere. Number one. Yeah, we're, we're always sincere every week. Then you're not sincere. Okay, so but but that that's uh, that's for God to judge, yeah. That's for God to judge, not you. Okay, we're asking you. Can we ask you a question? Can we ask you a question about Islam? Don't run away. Hatun can ask about who is people Jesus was sent to. So we've done that already. We've done that. Why are you running away, Zach? I'm not running away. Let's ask you the question. I'm here. I'm not running away. Okay. Can we ask you the question? What is the purpose of having female captives in Islam? Female captives? I really don't want to talk to them. What is Our scholars advise us not to talk to these people. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, can you give us the answer? Is that the answer? No, 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 I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. What is the purpose? Who advises you not to talk to me? Christians, they're ashamed of you people. Who advises you not to talk to me? What is the question? You're not Muslim. No, no, but the question is this guy. What is the purpose of having female captives in Islam? I'm not going to ask this question unless you want to do your Bible. Why don't you want to answer the question? I'll do your Bible because why is your Bible? Wow, I do. So answer it then. Why don't you answer the basic question? Zach, we're just asking you a simple question, and then we read what the Quran and the Hadith say, and then we analyze it. You're not Muhaddith. Are you? So why are you reading the Quran then? I'm not a Muslim, sir. He's not asking you to give him the theory for the Quran. I'm not a Muslim. You can't take something of Hadith in English and just pretend to. Okay, just just for the record, do you know the answer? No, I don't know the answer. You don't know I'm the answer? Thinking, I don't know the answer. I, I, I don't know the answer. Okay, do you know that you're allowed to have female captives in Islam? No, I don't know. And you're allowed to have sex I, with them? No, no, I don't know. Allah knows everything. Allah knows best. I don't know. So you haven't read Surah 4, 24? Allah, Jesus is the son of God. Have you read Surah 4? Have you read Surah 4? Huh? Have you read Surah chapter 4? <laughs> Zach, stop playing the games. Just answer the question. <laughs> Why? Why do you think he knows more than me? I know, but I don't know. I'm sure he's more. I don't know. Do you know what is the reason in Islam that you can take female couples? If there's been the war, if you have the 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 what I understand, if there's been a war and there's many women without having men. What happens to the women? You can't let them go into the prostitution and that to survive. So it's up to oh. the to take care of them. So just in the world, when you kill their husbands, women are gonna because there is no one to look after them, so yeah. they will go into the prostitution. They to, yeah, they, they will have to look for some way to survive. So solution for them is Zach. them to be, them to be taken as a captive. No, 
No, I wouldn't say I wouldn't take them as a captive and make them in like what the ISIS do. I wouldn't do that. So, so, sorry, I'm I'm just trying to understand. Okay. So the reason Islam allows you to have a captive because when you kill their husband, those women can go into the prostitution. Yeah, there's you a... don't want them to go to the into prostitution, so you take them as your captives. Correct. Take them, well, I'm guessing in some case, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay so yeah. what are those captives for? You have to take care of them. But so, yeah, you, so you have to, you have to look after them. Does, 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 does Muhammad say that? Allah, do they say that? Like yeah. I said, I'm, I'm not fully knowledge. You're really asking So where do you, uh, why, why are you saying you have to take care of them? Is so, that from Islam? Did that come from Islam? That no, statement, no, that comment. I think he's just thinking as a normal human being. Yeah, it's not from when, Islam. Yeah, when you take those people, your intention, you want to look after If I look personal yeah. respective, if yeah. I see there's a lot like after a war yeah. and there's orphans and there's going to be uh, widows, yeah. I feel it'll be my duty to you wanna make look sure after that they're them. not going to be out on the streets. I understand. I yeah. That's, no, very good. that's, very that, good that, that's what I will do. That's, yeah. good that's good. That's good. That's so, good. If that makes someone to be good, having good human sense, I, uh, since you are Muslim, your authority is Muhammad, uh, my brother is going to read your hadith, okay, where he will see what Muhammad's advice is. Okay, so yeah, okay. I want, we want to know, and of today you look up to Muhammad. So what Muhammad reasons those people to be ca taken captive so that they don't go into the prostitution or so that they can be looked after, so that society get better? Can you read the second hadith? Maybe? Which one should I read? So no, I'm not saying that's what I would do. Okay, let's yeah, so read the no, so let's read the hadith. What's your name? Mikhail. Mikhail. You are you are not Muhammad. No. No. You are not um, Allah. You are not Allah. No, I'm just so, a human being. Yeah, on so the you, are, you, you are just simple human beings who need a savior. Let's we are, we are gonna compare you mm -hmm. versus Muhammad. Okay. Good pray. Good pray. Hello, Okay, let's, let's read it, yeah? Abu Siram Said said to Abu Al-Qudiri, uh, Al Oh, Abu Said, did you hear Allah's messenger mentioning the coitus interrupters? You know what that is? The coitus interrupters. So you know. hearing what the, uh, that person was saying? No, that's so, no, no. the sex. Coitus interrupters no, is when you, yeah. when you withdraw Okay. Do you understand what I mean? Oh, you, before you, yeah. when you're, before you ejaculate, when you're uh, consuming with the what before, before you ejaculate, you, you withdraw. Yeah, really, yeah, okay. You, you, okay. He said, "Yes, I have heard it," and added, "We went out with our last messenger on the expedition to Mustalik and took captive some excellent Arab women." Okay. Okay. So uh, yeah. it's the same scenario. Now they are in the war. Okay, the husbands are killed by Muslims. Now they are taking some woman's captive because probably we don't know. It's Arab okay? woman. Yeah. Arab woman. Maybe they might be thinking like you, so they don't want it to be those women, those beautiful women to go into the prostitution. We yeah. don't know. Let's read what the hadith says. And then it says, We desired for them, for we were suffering from the absence of our, of our wives. Wives were not there. there. They were desiring to have they sex are with married them. People. And just one, brother, just one. I yeah. need to understand that. So, are you married? No. no. Would you think, will it be alright while you are married, that you have a sex with someone else? I wouldn't want to do it. You wouldn't want. Okay. When you go, when you go to war. Even if I go to war, I wouldn't, okay. I, I wouldn't want to do it. Okay. okay. But at the same time, we also desired ransom for them. You know what that means? Yeah? Ransom, like to, for the enemy to give making, the money yeah. to... Uh, You're selling making, them back. Yeah, yeah, making money from yeah. those girls. So we decided to just have one, sexual... Just one, brother, just one. So they want to get money from those women. So they want the to ransom sell, is exchanging. Sell, sell, sell those women. Trading them, yes. Okay, which you wouldn't do because you, you are against prostitution. Well, I wouldn't. If, if there's yeah, somebody who can take the yeah. women back who's yeah. their women, yeah. me, yeah. I would give so them back. So there were people who were doing that. Let's see and then it says, so we say. decided to have sexual intercourse with them, but by observing the azal, which is withdrawing the male sexual organ before emission of semen to avoid conception. But we said we're going, we're doing an act, whereas Allah's apostle, Allah's messenger, sorry, is amongst us. Why not ask him? So they wanted to ask Muhammad. Very good idea. So we asked Allah's messenger and he said, this is what Muhammad said, it doesn't matter if you do not do it. For every soul that is to be born up to the day of resurrection will be born. 
So Muhammad was okay with it for them to go to go and do full have sex with yeah, them. Yeah, to have sex. Yeah, without yeah. having to uh, leave before you. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I, Michael, you were against this basically when we started. That's what you I wouldn't said, do I'm it. Against this. Yeah. So, are you against Muhammad now? Based on this, this is in Sahih Muslim, by the way, mm -hmm. Volume Two. Oh, 3,371. Okay. So this is from the Sahih. See, well, from Shia background. I don't, I don't, oh, you are Shia? Yeah. So where do you find out about Muhammad? Where do you find out about Muhammad? It is through Al-Kafi. Sorry? Oh, so, okay, yeah. yeah. So where did I find out? Through, through our, our, our teachers? Okay, so... Through, yeah. But like I said, so, but, I'm, but I'm not from a religious family as such. No I'm problem, not, but yeah. you know, you know uh, Shia and Sunni, they read the same Quran. They read the same Quran, yeah. We so in the Quran... Uh, Hadith to them, I In the Quran, you are allowed to have sex with your female captors. It captives. says on the Quran where your right hand possesses. Surah 424, yeah? What is your thoughts on that? Because it sounds like you deny or reject Surah 424. I don't know if I deny or reject. It's just I'm, I'm saying if in my position, if I knew that doing something like that is going to hurt the woman, I wouldn't want to do it. So you disobey Allah? That's what I'm doing. I'm doing okay. That's okay. Surah 424 okay. allows you to have sex with your captive woman. But does it also allow you not to as well, if you don't want to do it? Just, 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 no, no, it doesn't, it doesn't that. say that. But let me just ask you a question. Since you expressed that you come from Shia culture, and now uh, one of the things we know yeah. is that Sunnis and Shias are disagreeing on the biography of Muhammad. Yeah, so they that, disagree. Yeah, that's like, it is, I think it is so sad because that just shows us we cannot trust the oral tradition. Hello? But my question was why your brother is talking about Surah 4 verse 24. Mm -hmm. About um, while you are married or while you are single, having. That's when I say this will be the best person to ask because they're more educated than. Uh, oh, you came back. You should <laughs> I, I should be killed. They're Apparently, not, I should be killed. They're, they're, they're not very much love in? of the Shia. Because I'm from Shia background, so, I should sir, be killed. Can I, can He's I Shia. Like He's Shia. I'm from Shia. Can I ask my question? Look at your face, bro. What about you? <laughs> temporary marriage. Yeah, what is your experience? Yeah, temporary that? marriage, muta marriage. They they are okay with it. Are you okay with muta marriage? What's my? What I I've never had a. I'm, I'm married and divorced. I've never had muta muta marriage. Why not? Well, why have I never had muta marriage? But you know you're allowed in Shia. In Shia, yeah. So there's a Shia practice muta. Are you okay? Are you okay with it? You never had it. You know it's allowed. Is that because you're running? You're, you're running. You're running. I don't feel the need to. You don't feel you need to. You need to have a temporary marriage. Find okay, but what do you I think about having temporary marriage? Uh, Allah sanctioned if it was, for, for example, if, it, if it was, uh, maybe that would be if you had the wars, temporary married a lady. But that's it, not, it's not, it's got nothing to do with war in Shia. So, so you, you, have, you have you temporary can, marriage anywhere, anytime you want. So you can, you think, actually today you choose to not have a mutar marriage. But in the world, it is okay for you to have temporary exactly. marriage. Exactly. Well, I, I could, I wouldn't comment on what the other people do. If they say it's fine mm. to do so that, then can you just mm. put me your moral standards? Mm. What did his? I think temporary marriage will be better than say having a, a girlfriend, having a fling. She getting pregnant, and you can just walk away without. So contract. in the temporary Why marriage, you won't get pregnant. No, no. I'm saying, for example, if if I had just a girlfriend and I got her pregnant. There's no law that's saying I think... have to support her, do you know why what I mean? Not? Maybe so, in a muta marriage, then I have a responsibility. But muta is, muta is temporary. Yeah, okay, but sorry, it, it is just, temporary, I have to have an obligation over that child. Okay, uh, but that's that, not... That is not the case, yeah. but let me just try to understand something. Why do you think mm -hmm. it is possible, or it is something people do, when they are girlfriend and boyfriend? Why do you think sex takes uh, place? So probably they, they, if I they have the sex, so, they're not committing the sin out of... I know lots of... Like, for example, in Christian circle, uh, according to the teachings of the Bible, girlfriends and boyfriends don't have sex until they become you get husband married. and wife. And wife yeah. Okay, so I think the assumption of having girlfriend and, oh, therefore I am not going to make my girlfriend pregnant or I'm going to make my girlfriend That's worldly pregnant, stuff. It's just, it's just like so the Christian, be Christian forbidden the... before marriage? Uh, yeah, of course. Just, but, yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. You have to marry them and one, one, one man and one woman. That's it. You mean one husband and one wife? One man, one man. One husband, one husband, one husband, one husband and one wife. Husband and one wife. Husband and one wife. So, can you just tell me, what do you think it is wrong to having temporary marriage? What is it wrong with having 
being married for temporarily hours, from two o'clock to five o'clock and then paying that woman the wages of uh, 50 pounds oh i didn't know you have to pay for you pay marriage. yeah i, I do. didn't i didn't know oh, you I'll pay know, whatever you pay pounds. but you pay brother can you read the verse Correcting my pronunciation. So Are you I'm correcting not, him with husband and wife? No. I'm not, that's a theological comment. Uh, I'm, while we have experts uh, between us, it is always good to let experts speak. Excuse me? Surah for 24. Much, much better than Muhammad and much better than Allah. That's something I need to congratulate you. Do you shake woman's hand in, in Islam? Congratulations, sir, for being much better than Allah and Muhammad. By shaking a hand. Okay. Also forbidden women uh, already married, except those whom your Rahab possesses. Thus has Allah ordained for you all others, provided you seek them in marriage with Maher from your property, desiring chastity, not committing illegal sexual intercourse. So with those whom you have enjoyed sexual relations, give them their Maher as prescribed. That's what you pay them. Whatever, whatever wages. It's like it's like when you're paying your employee. Arabic word is used as the wages, yeah. That's it. But after, uh, sorry, after a mahar prescribed, you agree to mutually to give more. There's no sin on you. Surely Allah is all, yeah, whatever. But so you're paying for pages. this temporary. Well, you seem to know more about my religion than me. So, are you okay? Are you okay with this? Muta, muta marriage. Muta, 